Hello Matrix and welcome to a video on cubic equations brought to you by the answer series. In example number 1, 1 1.1 says factorize x squared minus x minus 12. Now that's very straightforward, it's just x minus 4, x plus 3. So that means that the factors of x squared minus x minus 12 are x minus 4 and x plus 3. In 1.2, I ask you to solve for x in the equation. So how do we do that? We factorize and we get our two values of x. So that means that the roots of x squared minus x minus 12 are x equals 4 and x equals minus 3. Now notice, in an expression, I get factors of x minus 4 and x plus 3. In an equation, I'm getting roots of x equals 4 and x equals minus 3. Example number 2 says write down a cubic expression with factors x plus 1, x minus 2, and x plus 3. So that means that f of x can be written like that, which I then multiply out. So when I ask you to write down a cubic equation with roots minus 1, 2, and minus 3, remember a root of minus 1 comes from a factor of x plus 1. A root of 2 comes from a factor of x minus 2 and a root of minus 3 comes from a factor of x plus 3. And then I multiply it together and there I get my cubic equation. Now notice f of minus 1 is 0. So if f of minus 1 is 0 that means minus 1 is a root of the equation, which means that x plus 1 is a factor. In the same way, f of 2 is 0, which means 2 is a root of the equation, which means x minus 2 is a factor, and the same with minus 3. Example number three. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to try this. See what you can do and then we will go through it together. The first question is to determine f of 1. So that means in place of x I put 1 and I get that f of 1 is 0. So 3.2 says to me hence write down a factor of f of x. Well, if f of 1 is 0, that means that 1 is a root of the equation, which means that x minus 1 is a factor of f of x. 3.3 asks you to divide x minus 1 into f of x. In other words, x minus 1 times what? will give you f of x. So what we're going to do is the following. I've got an x cubed. Well, x times what gives me x cubed? It's x squared. On the end I have minus 2. Minus 1 times what will give me minus 2? It's plus 2. I then need to get a plus 2x squared. Now, there I've got a minus x squared. What else do I need to get a plus 2x squared? I need a plus 3x squared because minus x squared plus 3x squared will give me plus 2x squared. So that means in the middle I need a plus 3x. And then I need to check x times plus 2 is plus 2x, minus 1 times plus 3x is minus 3x, plus 2x minus 3x 
is minus x. So there I get x squared plus 3x plus 2. 3.4 says now solve. I've got the trinomial, I factorize, and I get all three roots. 3.5 says draw a sketch showing the x-intercepts of the graph of y equals f of x. Now we will learn in calculus, if you have a positive x cubed graph, the general shape of the graph will look like that. So I've got to have a graph with that shape with x-intercepts of minus 2, minus 1, and 1. So that is what my cubic will look like, and we will discuss these in a lot more detail in calculus. Example number four, you are asked to solve for x. So what we do is we have to use a little bit of trial and error to find a value of x that will make that equation true. In other words, we need to find a root of the equation. So what we do is we try one, we try minus one, we try two, minus two, three, minus three. We might need to try a half, or minus a half, and beyond that, they won't ask you in school maths. University, yes, but school maths, they won't ask you, so it's not as bad as it seems. So if I try f of one, I don't get zero as an answer. f of minus one, I don't get zero. But f of two, I do get zero. So that means that two is a root of the equation, which means that x minus two is a factor. So I've got to get x minus 2 times what? So there's a 2x cubed. x times what is 2x cubed? It's 2x squared. On the end is minus 6. Minus 2 times what is minus 6? It's plus 3. I now need to get a plus 3x squared. That is minus 4x squared. I need a plus 3x squared, so that must be a plus 7x squared, because minus 4x squared plus 7x squared is plus 3x squared. So that's plus 7x. I then check. I get plus 3x there. I get minus 14x, together they give me minus 11x. Factorize the trinomial and you get your three roots. Example number five, what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and I want you to try this one yourself and then we will do it together. I try f of 1, I don't get 0. I try f of minus 1, I do get 0, which means minus 1 is a root of the equation, which means x plus 1 is a factor. So, what I have is the following. There's an x cubed. x times what is x cubed? x squared. Minus 4 on the end, plus 1 times what is minus 4? it's a minus 4. I need minus 2x squared. I've got a plus 1x squared. How do I get minus 2x squared? I need to minus 3x squared. Because plus x squared minus 3x squared gives me minus 2x squared. So that's a minus 3x. Check. There's minus 4x. There's minus 3x. Together, they give you minus 7x. Factorize the trinomial, and you get your roots. Now, you notice you get two brackets that are the same, which means when you draw the graph, that root of x equals minus 1 is not only an x-intercept, but it also happens to be a turning point. So if I were to draw my graph, 
I would get it looking like that. And again, that we will look at in a lot more detail in calculus. You should now understand how to solve cubic equations. Thank you for watching this video. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.